Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Getaway. I am the Black Shadow. The last time, uh, after uh, tailing the Cormac and he died and saving Joe, uh, we raided uh, an arch in uh, Scoresby Street um, that um, Joe had uh, told us about, where we uh, ran found out all about just how far widespread um, uh, Charlie Jolson has become over the years. Uh, we start raiding his places, which leads us to meet Mark Hammond, which then leads us to back to Charlie's Depot, where we are now in hot pursuit of Jake, because, of course, he has the detonator for the bomb. We need to chase him down, and quickly. Ah! Fuckers are running away. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do about that, folks, about <laughs> them running away, to be fair. Ow! Bastard! Give me that. No, I said... <sighs> this game... Never mind! Now, you can't actually really follow wherever on earth it is that Jake's gone, but uh, we know exactly where he is going, so don't you worry. And of course, he's off to the Solvita. Whoa! Major collision. That's probably one of the more major collisions <laughs> that I've had today, and I've had some pretty bad ones. Oh dear. So, um, I suppose, uh, one thing that I said, the fact is, of course, folks, we're already into the Solvita, folks, and we're only, what, you know, and it's, we've, we've only just, you know, it's not been that far since we started, um, doing this as Frank Carter, folks. Um, truth be told, um, unfortunately, um, as much as I love Frank Carter, and, you know, I really enjoy playing as it, with it as him, however you want to word it, you know, Unfortunately, his story is very, very short, folks. It's a lot shorter than uh, Mark's. Which is, you know, kind of a shame. I always thought they could have done more to sort of um, flesh out um, his story a bit more. I mean, there's enough that goes on in it, you know, with the whole um, being screwed over by the callback and covering, uncovering that he's dirty and sort of um, trying to nail Jolson. But, you know, they could have fleshed it out a little bit more, folks. I was never too happy about that. But, um... You know, that's just unfortunate. It's just how it is. Nothing we can do about it. So you know, just gotta enjoy it while it lasts. Woo! Hit miss. Oh yes. No. Yes. Can I miss everything? No. Of course I was gonna hit something, folks. It's it's just that that kind of day at the moment. I'm always gonna hit something at the end of it. I'm just delaying the inevitable. It's just been that kind of day at the moment. Frustrating as it is, it's just been that kind of day. There's just nothing I can do about it. Oh well, at least I'm having a bit more success with shooting than I am driving. Oh well. Woo! Goodness gracious me. I mean, it's like, you know, it, when I was playing this as Mark, I'd have dodged that. I'd have dodged most of the stuff I've been crashing. I, I just don't know what it is, but I've just been... I mean, I've done this whole thing in one session. It's, well, it's only, what, the seventh video. You know, it's not that long. I've done it all in one go, folks. And my dr it's just been abysmal today. I, I really wish I knew why it was so bad today. I really do. Yeah, I'll have that. Thank you. Does anyone even know what this is? Because I'm going to be dead and serious and say I have absolutely no idea what I'm driving. It's the one one of the few cars in this game I never could quite work out what I was actually driving. Whee. Yeah, I figured I'd wait for a, a, a bigger street to be sort of flying down. Alrighty then. Is that turning me once? Ugh. See, the annoying thing is, folks, I hate when this happens sometimes, where you like, you need to go like a diagonal, but you're kind of like, well, 
you know, how far do I sort of go, you know, in a straight line to try and cut in? It's really hard to work out sometimes. That was some dodgy mechanics. Uh, oh, and guess what? It goes in a circle! Uh. <laughs> this has not been my day at the moment. There we go. Ah, now this is what we want. Here we are. This looks about right. Well, what's up with the traffic? Oi! Yeah, here we are, folks. We just go across Tower Bridge, and I believe it's literally just on our left. Oh! 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 This is testing my patience. It really is. Now, how am I supposed to steer through Tower Bridge when this isn't even going straight? It is. It's not even possible. Oh. Goodness me, I mean, I suppose I've a pool, as I said earlier in the session, because it's all still the same, I've got a pool match later, so I, I might, if it's going to be like this, I might just drop myself completely from that game, I mean, <laughs> oh dear. Here we are. St. Saviour's Docks. Just as my car actually dies. I guess we're running for the rest of the way. Now where's the actual shipment? It's down here, isn't it? This is the place. Yeah, this looks... Here we are. Now, the thing you've got to bear in mind here, folks, is that when Frank gets here, this is look, this is before Mark gets here, folks. Just so you know, this is before all the gangs descend upon the Soul Vita. So, yeah. Just bear that one in mind. This is not a case of everyone trying to kill each other. This is everyone trying to kill you. But there's a great opportunity to get rid of a load of them here. Uh oh. Could be in trouble here. There should be like, uh, there's usually, there's like a forklift that sort of drives along. There's loads of explosives on it. Oh boy. We pissed them off! And they're all still alive, we're in trouble. This bucket is full of rats. Major trouble. There's usually like a forklift that sort of drives along there of explosives, and if you detonate it right, you can take out like half the people that you've got to kill. But I, I think I'm a dead man. This would be one hell of a get out, a, a, a miracle if I get out of this. For goodness sakes, let me rest. Please. Well, I think I may have survived that somehow. Do not ask me how I've managed that. Just accept it. That's the policy I'm going with. Alright, Jake. You are going down. I'm not that guy. I thought I just saw some people running down the back there. Was that just me? So there's that forklift. Just no one ever drove it. Or drove it. <laughs> Sit down, mate. Now. Gotta be 
going nice and careful here. You never know what surprises are waiting for DC Carter here. Now instead of going now instead of going down like we did with Mark, this time we need to go upwards. That's flying squad train. That's about run out, so. What was that? Couldn't work it out. Well, I couldn't work it out. What he meant. Or said. No idea. Is this a showers? Yeah, little bits and pieces, but the important thing is we come up here. Now this bit really sucks. This bit, I am healing as much as Frank will let me. Oh, I was basically there anyways. This bit really sucks. Because you know, it's like a turkey shoot for several seconds here, usually. If the game would let me move, that'd be nice. Ooh, get inside! How? Ugh. Yeah, maneuverability there is not really great. We've actually not got out of that too badly, all things considered. The f I don't know what happened there. The game just wouldn't let me move for ages. That was weird. It's like I got caught in something. Not too sure what that was about. Sorry, I'm moving around my headset a bit here. Just it's it's gotten really really stuffy um, today. And it's not proven particularly comfortable <laughs> doing these recordings, but never mind. Okay, just shoot him through the thing, okay. Now, Game over for you, cowboy. Where are you, Jake? Where are you? There he is. Better get back here! Fucking do you one! Ah, freaking gun's empty. Where are you gonna go, Jake? Huh? Ah, hurting! Ah! Bastard! Oh no! Oh look, we nearly killed him as well! Rah! Right, well, rather than heading outside, let's try heading up here this time instead. Try something a little different. Never hurts. Oh, it's the bridge! Oh, cool. Oh, Carter, you Shut up! Fuck you and fuck Charlie. Exactly, learn some frickin' manners. First aid! Why can't I have first aid? Right, gotta be careful here. We know what's coming up. Is he? Son of a bitch! That fucker's on the crane! Bastard, he's like ready to get away! Get it, get off. Anyways. Suck it. Damn him, he's like gone away, he's gone on the crane. He's like gone back down to the ship. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> well, he ain't getting away from us that easy. If he thinks that, then he is sorely mistaken. Place is just littered with bodies, and I think none of the gangs have even got here yet. Uh. 
I suppose the million dollar question is now if Jake ran away just where has he gone well, believe me he's somewhere out here only question is I see movement over there hmm. might be worth some investigating oh going down this right side though certainly is a lot safer actually some cover but I see movement over there Rest you? No, Jake, I'm gonna fucking blow your rivals out. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck you and fuck your father. Now, this is where I'm gonna deviate ever so slightly from the game here, folks. Uh, what would happen now is now that we've killed Jake. Uh, the game will now lead us to the point where um, everyone meets up around the bomb with Frank and Mark and Nick and Charlie and all the other gangs all in that centre bit. Now, purely because I never, I, I, it always really annoyed me, folks. It only like shows you like the very last bit of that entire um, meeting, folks. It really annoys me. So, for your, well, just because I feel nice and I don't mind, and for my own sense of well-being. I'm going to show you guys the entire cutscene in full, folks. There is an extra little bit after uh, Mark goes, but I'm going to show you the entire thing just for you. So, enjoy. Alex! Alex! Dad, I thought you were dead! Oh, thank Christ you're okay. Charlie's bomb. You could blow up half of London with that thing. Be careful, Dad! Don't worry, it's not activated. But I'd love to know who's got the detonator. What took you so long, anyway? Harry. He's making amends with his maker. That lecherous prick eyebrow's got some of the same. You seen Charlie or Jake? We don't have to worry about Psycho Jake anymore. The bomb's over here. In all that carnage, they forgot to detonate it. We don't think they still won't. Where's the remote? There's a detonator loose on the super junk. And where the hell's Charlie? Who cares? You've got your kid. We're all still alive. Now let's get the hell out of here. Well, that might be OK for you, but it's time London did without all the Jolsons. He's right here if you want him, cos I dropped the piece. You as well, crazy man. Well. It finally looks like we've got all our problems under one roof, doesn't it? Fat man arranges a meeting. It's supposed to be a demilitarised zone. And as soon as we sit down, guns start going off all over the place. Now, we think the fat man might be showing a little bit of bad faith. Especially considering all the trouble we've been having with this vigilante over there. And then, we find our man here, trying to sneak off the boat. We come down here and find it's like a fucking slaughterhouse! Now, it's a good job I brought my boys along. Somebody better start telling me what the fuck's going on here. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot more claret spilt aboard this ship. I can explain, Nick. I can explain everything. Explain. Fucking explain! I should hope you care for your sake, son. You've got quite a few people here who would like some serious words with you. Nick, let him speak, man. Let's find out what the hell's been going on here. I should just kill you. 
God, now he's our one. You have caused me a lot of grief, Emmett! Nick! Come on, man. Let's hear him out. Let's hear what he's got to say. You're surely not going to listen to this fucking National Front lunatic. <laughs> what I tell you? I arranged this meeting to hand over the boy who's been causing you all this problem. He's caused you all an injury. He topped your people, Collins. And here he is, delivered on a silver fucking platter. Just like I promised. Shut it, fat man. You promised me the situation would be cool. No evidence. And the ship did a crawl with your boy then. You promised me the crazy man. Instead, we have to come down here and find him for we said. I think the best solution for the problem after we just do you know. We said, China man. That's a good. Mr. Bobby Lee agrees. Kill him now. Are you all blind? Can't you see what's going on here? Let the boy go, Nick. I'll take what's coming. It's not his fault. Let the boy and the girl go. All it's ever been about is the boy. Just hear me out. I'm listening. You killed Susie, Nick. Right in the street, in front of my gaff. You kidnapped Alex blackmailed me into doing jobs all over town. The only part I couldn't figure out was why he was having me taking turns in hitting you. Then you, and then you. I did it. I admit it, and I'll take what's coming. But I was protecting my boy. And he deserves a chance, doesn't he? Continue. The story is very interesting. He played us all like a game of chess. Sending me against you, and then watching you take chunks out of each other. While he sat back and smoked his fat fucking cigar. <laughs> I'll bring out the fucking violins. You're breaking my bleeding heart. You can't seriously be listening to this mad tosser. He killed his wife. I took his kid in out of my respect for his Susie. He's gone loop the fucking loop. Why do you think he brought you all here? To give you Mark Hammond, someone would have got to him eventually. We all know that. Either you guys or the police. Who do you think has benefited the most from all this strife? Who would like all of you lot out the way so that things were just like the good old days? And who would be mad enough to plant a bomb that would blow up half the waterfront just to make sure he had no rivals? Oh, I saw you stay fat man. You prefer them old days without competition. You say you want to help we with our problem. But all the while is a joke thing you have played upon me. You have to block the whole town with that. You are a fucking dinosaur, Charlie! This is the new millennium. We make more money on porno on the internet than you ever made in the knocking shots of Soho. London is multicultural. It always was. Only people like you never realised it. I mean, you're like a bad hangover from a different era. An era that's about to end. I'm letting you go, Mark. You were in a boy. Look, I know what you did. And I know why you did it. But it still don't make it right, does it? I lost some good lads because of you. Lads that I'm gonna miss. Now, I'm letting you go, son. But get out of London and get out tonight. And don't let me ever see your face in this town again. Do you hear me? You're spoken out of place, Mr. Collins. This man has killed many men. And he has been very bad for business. I ask this as a favour, Mr. Lee. He'd done it for his kid and I'd have done the same for mine. Put your phone, come and tell you. We are prepared to recognise this favour and will, at the proper time, ask a favour in return. Now, you gonna give me a problem over this? This boy. And kill me boy, them, and steal my money. 
so we're not really too happy about him still alive. We don't want the people them to think he can mess with Jamal and be taking liberties. However, for the sake of our little racial unity, I'm prepared to let him and him boy go free. Now move! Now, you heard him, Hammond. Now get the fuck out of here and don't let me ever see your face in this town again. Do you hear? Now, now we can have some fun with his lordship here. I'll miss you, big boy. But whatever you do, don't cry. I don't think you'll be getting much sympathy here. What about the cop, Nick? He's been straight up. Shut Hi, everyone. Up. Yeah, this is where um, the cutscene actually... This is where it actually cuts in. But I'll never go out on this far f in. It's ridiculous. And this is where it starts new. It's a really good cutscene. It really annoys it they just cut it in right now, but hey. No, not police. We must deal with policemen. Go on. Get out of here. The criminal trash, a lot of you. That's nice. Don't need your help, Why would I? I don't need any favours from scum. I thank fucking car to the flying squad. That's right, the flying squad. The Met's finest. Be a long fucking day in January before I beg for help from criminal trash. That's enough from you, Phil. <laughs> She's my town. Not yours, Jungle Bunny. Not yours. Not yours either, you slanty eye fucker. My Ouch. I was running this town when you were still being slapped by your dad for wearing the bed. I ran this town with real men. Like Ronnie and Reggie. With respect. We knew what was what. We knew who was who. But now what we got? Fucking spear chuckers. We need shooters where no one's safe. Turning London into a madhouse. Smackheads, crackheads, bitches of the fucking races. Well, I'm sorry. Enough's enough. So I have to fucking order. You give these people a bit of space. Then what'd you get? Fucking disorder. It's gonna stop. And it starts right now. Somebody shoot a fucker. Uh oh. Finger comes up the button and blows us all. Scarborough the Now, two world wars, one world war. I think it's fair to say he's completely off his rocker. I think Charlie Jolson has completely lost it. But you saw what he did. He has activated the bomb, folks. We need to get off this ship right now because the bomb's activated and everyone's going to war. Isn't Fuck that up. fantastic? Blow, you idiot. And yeah, folks, dip being serious here. You have got to absolutely peg it here as fast as you can, folks. You, If you take serious damage, you do not have time to heal. You've got maybe enough time to get like one load of health back. That's probably about it. Unbelievably strict time limit, folks. And that's if you know what's going on. Exactly. Charlie has completely gone mental. Game over for you, I love that though. You gotta be careful around here. There's shotguns and all sorts of nasty things around here. That guy is a nightmare. But remember, folks, you don't have to kill everyone here. If you want to just peg it, peg it. Oh my goodness. Everyone's trying to kill each other. Ow! I'm trying to get back so we can grab that freaking assault rifle. Goodness gracious. Be careful because you never know where we're going to come out from even. You can still hear all the gunfire. Whoa, not fun, not fun. Whoa, get out of there. There's Bethnal, Yardies, Triads. 
Utter carnage. Oh, not a good time for that to run out. Oh, let's get out of here. Ow! Freaking things, they hurt. Come on, quickly! You see, the timer's almost out already. Let's just get the hell off this ship. Well, they sunk my battleship. And that, folks, is the end of the game. Bit sudden, maybe. But that's it, folks. That is the end of the getaway. Like I said, it, it, it annoys me in a way that, um, that uh, Frank's story is so short, but... Well, what can you do? Oh, I do like this. So actually, you got a little montage of like all the l all the characters and like the uh, the real world um, actor versions. Yeah. Thanks for that shot, directors. With cool Mac, even man, he needs to go to sleep a bit. And there's Jake. It's it's weird actually because you look at Jake. I can imagine Jake actually looking like it. It, it makes more sense to him to look like that than his actual in-game version. It's really weird that one. But yeah. But yeah, that is uh, that's the end of the game, folks. Um, like I had said, you know, it, it's not the longest game in the world, is the getaway, which always always kind of saddens me in a way. It's a it's a nice little title, um, you know, and it's really enjoyable while you, while it lasts, folks. Actually, um, unfortunately, though, for this game, there isn't really much more that you can do outside the story folks. Uh, when you do complete the game you do actually get access to like a, a free roam mode so you can just go around London you know free roaming. Um, you can do that as Mark. Um, unfortunately you can't do that as Frank although what you can effectively do is use some of the missions um, that uh, Frank has as a free row and use that as a free row session because there's some missions towards the end where he doesn't have a ton of like the the one as we're uh, meet Mark Cameron it's called where we just come out of the, uh, the railway arch um, you can use that as a free rowing session because you've got no time limit at all and you've got vehicles right next to you and all sorts of things folks but um, other than that sadly there's nothing else to the game uh, unfortunately which really is kind of sad it, so they, they sort of slightly address in Black Monday. There's a few little bits of extra pieces that you can uh, do uh, once you play the game. But uh, even so, folks, it still still makes me sad. Um, but no, I hope I've um, I hope I've been able to give you a uh, an insight into well, all right, admittedly a somewhat glorified um, London criminal underworld, mind you. I mean, you know, if there was that ma if there was that many gunfights and shootings going on in London, believe me, you'd know about it. Um, it ain't that bad, but um, you know, it is it's a it is a nice insight into a, a, a world that you don't really very often see. You know, whenever it's anything sort of gang related, it's always you know it's almost always America because of course it's I wouldn't say notorious for it, but you know they obviously that they're, they're they are around. Um, whereas um, for uh, you know, in, in London, they do still exist, but obviously, with the fact that guns are so heavily prohibited, um, you know, gu the guns do ha no, they do have they do have firearms, but it's not so easy to get hold of them, I tell you, and not in as great quantities either, mind you. Um, but you know, you get an insight for that, you get an insight to what London looks like, of course. Like I say, completely recreated to scale, more or less. It's not actually the um, entire city of London actually it turns out I always kind of thought it was it's not it, it's a lot it's a fair portion of the entire city of London but uh, not all of it folks I suppose it's kind of if you want to go for the whole thing it actually there is a lot more 
Um, there is like uh, you know all the out little bits, but that's kind of the main part of it. Um, and you know, on top of that, of course, you know the story, and which I've always enjoyed. Whoa, that scared me. Goodness me. Um, you know, but the story and, and the characters, you know, it's just a lot of fun, folks. I've always really enjoyed it. I think it's, it's a fa great little game. You know, uh, it, 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 it turned out, actually, I mentioned perhaps it didn't quite get the, um, you know, it, it, it was never that well known. I, it's kind of debatable, actually. It turns out that, um, I think King Shrike actually mentioned it at the start of the LP, apparently, that um, it actually did uh, sell quite well in the States um, uh, when it came out. But even so, you got to remember this game's like best part of 15 years old now. So, you know. But for those that were there, you know, there were plenty of um, plenty of pleasant um, memories and all the rest of it, folks. And just, you know, a lot of good fun, a lot of good times. Um, you know. So, yeah, an enjoyable game. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it along. I mean, I've I've tried to record it in a slightly different way. I mean, it's always, you know, I mean, it's, it's an intro, the developers, they they always said, and a little, um, I might actually see if I can't actually get hold of it and upload it, actually. And there's like a little making of the getaway, which was found somewhere, like some other disc, I can't remember. I'll see if I can't try and get hold of that and upload it for the channel for you guys. Um, but they always said, <coughs> um, <laughs> for that to thank all those of us who stood through this insane time. Um, folks, but they, as they said, you know, that they, they, they were a company that, as much as they made video games, they also wanted to make movies, and so I, I, I tried to LP it a little bit different, you know, and just sort of let the story go along and just sort of ride along things as it happened, folks. So, um, and like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I really do. It's been a pleasure to play this and to bring it to you guys. It really has been. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and of course, the sequel, Black Monday. Of course I'm going to be doing that game someday. I mean, that's a, that is a guarantee, folks. Of course. For, um, but uh, we've got other things to deal with first. We've got um, a certain game called Grandia 2, which uh, we're going to take on. I don't know if I'm going to get that finished in one session or not. We'll have to see. I might extend the session slightly if I think it means I'll get it finished. Just so I've got the complete clear slate to go with. And then, of course, after that... We've got uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X um, to come up, which I am really looking forward to finally getting back into survival horror. Um, we've got Silent Hill 2, of course, coming after that. We've got the X-Files going alongside that, as well as uh, a few of the LPs, um, which um, actually it was mentioned the... Uh, 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 well, yeah. uh, back on the update video I did um, well, about a week ago now, from when this actually gets uploaded. For me, it was only like two days ago. Um, there was a few games that have been mentioned, some I, I had been considering, some some other people have mentioned, folks. So, um, I will address those, um, as and when we get to there. But, um, for now, that is gonna be all. So, as I say, I thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. It's been a, a pleasure to bring you this game, and I, I hope to God you've enjoyed it, folks. So, I've been the Black Shadow, you have been as wonderful an audience as always. Take care. Yes.